hello guys this is david okon welcome to my channel i want to show you some tips and tricks on how to use the 2d camera in a little bit advanced way how i was able to make this jump animation uh, before we continue please i want to subscribe click the like button and comment if this video is really really helpful to you now let's get started so I'm going to show you what I did right here um, after I was able to do the ink by ink, you know, the sketch the penciling stage. Let me show you that quickly. Let me turn off these layers on the background. So this was, let me open this, um, these animation cells. You can see the numbering layer one, layer two, layer three. If I turn off this and this, see there's nothing there. So they have been drawn frame by frame, frame by frame, frame by frame. So when you go through everything, I mean, the whole thing is inside the camera. I'll show you how to do that quickly very soon. Uh, so then the inking. The um, this is the inking. Let me turn off the penciling stage, then the inking, and then the color. They're off in sync. I did this in Clip Studio Pro, so it has 24 frame. So, this one, um, if you are working with Clip Studio Pro, I would advise to, advise to do this so that um, you don't have this issue. But if you are working with um, Clip Studio EX, so you can use 24, you know, because you have a lot of free space here to work. But in the Pro is limited, this is where it stops. So, so it doesn't move too fast. Let's go to the play settings, you know, uh, timeline, then change frame rate. I change it to 8 because if it's higher than this, let's say 24, it will be too fast. Let me click OK and play it. Look at the play set times, it do not match. Let me click OK and play. Look at how fast it is going to be. Too fast. It is very unrealistic. So we're going to undo that. We're going to undo that now. Yeah, so let's click on play. So back, so right now it's still is back to um, eight. But if you are doing it using the ES version, because then you can do normal uh, animation uh, standard is twenty four. I mean, basically, what that's what they use. So you can use that because you have a lot of free space to work with. But Pro is limited, so you can always. If I use the pro version, please use it so that it looks natural because and when you're exporting it, if I want to export this animation, export animation. Now let me say the name. Any name there? Uh desktop. Then click on apply this, then you change it, use eight. Let me see if we can go lower. Or oh, I prefer eight. Let's use eight instead. So it's so it's going to be in sync with what we are uh, we are seeing right here on the screen. So it's being in sync. So when you click on export, so it exports it. Let's check it out. You can see it follows it. All right, let's get back to Clip Studio Paint. Now let's let me show you how I was able to do the camera. So let us first of all uh, create a new. Let me uh, create a new camera. 
new animation layer to the camera folder let me change the color so that we can be sure of what is in this one is all these are inside the camera so let us remove it so we can put them inside this new one so we select that so we select that and press shift so we've selected down that then we can drag it inside this so currently now it's inside this uh so this background let's turn on the background i have to put the background so it has some dramatic the camera can look dramatic so uh now it's for us to start doing adding the camera let, let me turn off this so i want to show you some little practical here Now the first one on the right here is that let's go to the first frame. This is the camera. Let's go to objects. So I think it's okay like this. It's okay like this. Then we change it to linear. It's already in linear. And um, add keyframe. Add keyframe. Let's come down here. This is the camera for that is nothing here. Add keyframe. The keyframe that it shows here. Then let's uh, um, the second one. The camera is okay like that. Let's take keyframe that. Add keyframe. And the third one here. Then the reason why we are doing this is so that when you play it, you can have a full shot, a full shot of everything. So in case so now we want to drag in the camera to focus on the character on the third um, um, you know the cell so now the camera move look at this so the direction okay so um, the next frame we can still leave it there okay frame that the third one you can still leave it there keyframe that still following the character the sixth one we can frame that the seventh one we keyframe that okay the eighth we can frame that then ninth uh, we can have to drag it downward to bit so we can you know be in sync with the character then the tent oh we can keep add keyframe the eleventh can add keyframe to that so twelfth one we can draw the camera a little bit upward we add keyframe then it the tint for the Follow the character. No, let's leave it this way. That's good. To think the then we have um, 14. Then we drag it a little bit. Okay, we can frame that. Add keyframe. 15. We have to bring it down here. So this time, I want to make it much more bigger but we don't want the camera to go beyond it this is the camera frame so everything we're doing is stay within this frame so i think this is it is good this way then the sixth one we'll leave it that way it's good and then the seventh no but not keyframe that six let's keyframe that add keyframe then the seventh this is seventh. We can confirm that too. Add keyframe. Then the eighth is still okay. Add keyframe. Then the ninth. Add keyframe too. Then the twenty. Add keyframe. Then the twenty one. Add keyframe. Then twenty two. Add keyframe. 
23 at keyframe. Oh, then we can now zoom in here a little bit. So you can actually see the, the at keyframe. Let's play this, see what we have here. Now let's pause here. I think there is a layer, the pencil layer is, is on. Let me turn that off. So I'm seeing some kind of weird look there. Let me play it now. How nice it's looking like. So we can press pause and export this. So it's going to follow the camera the way it is. Let me undo that. I made a mistake. Oops. So we can export it now. Whatever format you want to use. I, I prefer now if you want to export it to other uh, animation like Open Tunes. Uh, so you want to continue some layer which is open to this program so you can export that to that file format to continue your uh, animation there just then I want to export it as a movie I think let me over write this uh, let me change the name let me use um, jump animation jump animation Jump animation save. You need to apply the 2D camera. If you turn this off, it's the, the 2D camera will not show in the final result. So you have to leave this here. The sound, I think I love this sound. This is okay for me. It's I think you can also reduce the I believe you can also reduce it, but I think I'm okay with this. The way it appears, including the paint, then click OK. So we have animation ready now. Now let's go to desktop. This we have it yet. So let's play it. No, no, no. Okay. Things playing the other one. Let's. This is not what I want to show. So desktop, then that was a very nice transition. So thank you very much for staying to for watching this tutorial. Um, I've come to the end of this tutorial. If I have more content, I'll be showing concerning uh, to the animation and please just. Uh, if you love this video, please like and subscribe and comment and share with your friends and colleagues. See you in the next video. Bye.